Hello everyone, here we are with the new live stream for the new update and finally I can pull. It was the old day that I was resisting and now uh, I can start. Let's wait a few for a few more seconds and then I can uh, I can start already with the pulls. I already upgraded a report to max, obviously, or excuse me, I came in to like 35 at the moment. Hi, hi guys, and yeah, let's see. This new unit doesn't look too bad. I mean, it's actually really, really good. Finally, we have a front line in the red element, so I'm really happy about it. Let's see how many copies we can get. I will try to get to three red, and after that, I will try her a bit uh, without rainbow five to see how she performs, etc. But yeah, I mean, if you have already a set that allows you to take a unit to 100% resistances, you don't really need uh, orange four for survivability or anything like that. So in general, three red most of the times is enough. But yeah, we'll see. I will also test her in the next few days uh, to see if she can also carry or not, because at the moment, what I think I will use her for is just as a frontline crowd control and tanking, nothing much. So I don't know, we will see. I also have quite a bit of summons here in the hot deal because I want to get a copy of Machini. So I already bought the, the pack. We're also going to do those. I think I will start with those first. And also here, I will open this. I only have 13, not many because I opened a few uh, in the meantime, while, while we had the door event, I already opened quite a bit of them. These are what I, I was left for with, and I also need to open this one. I think we're going to already start. I will just, yeah, machine is not bad. I'll just start with this. Let's see who, okay, yellowy. Not a good start, but it's fine. For the other colors, I think I will keep them. I don't really see a reason to, to open them at the moment. Let's open, let's do all 13 together and let's see what happens. Hmm, all right, all right, all right. No, damn it, a copy of Rachel, Quant, Mule, okay. More, only purple crystals, basically, whatever, better than nothing. And I think there is nothing else to open. Yeah, the chances of getting the new unit are really, really slim. So I wasn't hoping for it, but okay. And here we have Rainbow, th uh, Rainbow 2 Rachel. Cool. Yeah, really happy about it. Who else did get the upgrade? Okay, this useless guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. At least I can, I can get a few more SSR Plus units. It will definitely help when the new crocodile is going to release on April 25. Let's see. I mean, quant of, what is that? Like three blue, how many did I have? Three blue is fine. I'm getting more event materials since it's one of the rate ups, if I'm not mistaken. So that's good, pretty much. Who's the other one? Ah, yeah, yellowy. Really not that useful. Just go around with one of, with one of the two. Whatever. And that should be fine. Okay, cool. So now we can start with the audio summon. And let's have a look. I will start with 30. Yeah, let's do five times 30 and then two temples. If there is no keys, I will just skip the animation. Well, I could even skip it anyway. Yeah, let's keep it. And nothing. Why is it so slow today? What happened? Okay, anyway, only useless stuff. It's lagging quite a bit. Hmm. Uh, 
another kiss, but I don't care. Let's just skip. And nothing again. Come on. Terrible. All right, let's go again. It's going to be Amigo Charts for sure. No, not even, a, nothing. Really, okay, fine, whatever. I hope it just means that I'm going to be lucky with the standard pools. Another kiss, but it means nothing, so whatever. All right, 120, nothing. Really cool. Great start. Whatever, skip, skip. Finally, one copy. Thank you, Operator. But yeah, so far, not really lucky. I mean, 150 <laughs> odd deal pools and we only got one. Terrible. Terrible. Another kiss, but it means nothing, so whatever. And we got nothing again. The last 10 pools, and we will see. And nothing again. Really? Wow. 170, only got one. Isn't this supposed to be 2%? <laughs> well, whatever. Damn it. This is not a good start. But now we can go, let's go with the friendship summons first. And nothing here, obviously. Yeah. Really quite unlucky. Let's go with the five free summons. Nothing again, but that's fine. And let's see. Now we will start. In seven multis, we have the SSR plus PT. All right, at least we got one. I don't know who. Okay, the right one, Wario, so perfect. Let's go, let's go. It's already three green with the free copy, so quite cool. Yeah, this unit is for sure good, just not sure if it's good as a carry or just as a tank or something. No, it's only with real money. Yeah, you cannot buy the hot deal tickets with suspendium. Well, okay. I mean, you can buy the 50, um, the 50 summons or 50 tickets with uh, 10,000 suspendium, was it? But that's all you can buy. You cannot go over those 50. Yeah, I mean, at least they give you some summons, but looking at how unlucky it was, it was really terrible. Is she worth summoning? Uh, I mean, it depends on the state of your account. I would say she's definitely a solid option for red. Probably like, well, well not probably. The only frontline unit you have in red, so definitely worth it. She has a lot of crowd controls, so she's probably good. The only thing is, I don't know if she can also be used as a carry in some of some sorts, if she can also deal damage or not, or you still have to rely on Viol, Evankel, and Acraptor. Acraptor could be better now that we have Warion just because of the physical peers, but I'm not sure. I will have to test it out. But how unlucky am I? I mean, only one Warion, that's fine, but then nothing. All right. And the next one is the SSR plus PT, right? Yes. Damn. Let's see. 
Nothing goes to here. Incredible. Nothing. Wow. I'm so unlucky today. What happened? Yeah, yeah. I will hit the skip button a bit more. All right. So here. Let me see. Who should I add? Maybe Karaka or Ren. What do you say, guys? Karaka or Ren for the last spot? Probably. Mm, but Ren doesn't really need anything else. Yeah, probably Karaka. At least I can bring him up to three red sooner or later. All right. Yeah, I know. I don't believe hard enough. Let's see. Nope. And let's just go again. I want that machiny. Yeah, but he's already three red, so you already can get all the stats from uh, from the current years available. But why? Why I always get the same unit whenever I click again? It happened like also if you remember the last stream, it happened all the time. I click again and it's always the same one. Why? I mean, it's really it's really crazy. It's not the twenty or twenty percent to get one unit. It's always the same. <laughs> I don't know why. Like four times it already happened to me in a row. It's stupid. At least we got one. Who is this? Ah, useless. Why? Why this off wish list? Whatever. Nothing. Let's see if there is also the beam. No, nothing. Cool. I think I will have to use up all the summons just to get the three red. What is this bad luck? It's really, it's really insane. Ah, whatever. I have no words, guys. Really. How is this even possible? How many summons did it do already? Like more than 100. All right, all right. This is a, this is a good sign at least. So we got a double or a triple. All right, this is the right one. All right, an array is also fine. And a second warion, great. So two warion and one array, great. I don't know, because it's only 16% peers, so I don't think it's that relevant in like boss fights. So I don't think it's it's the case. I mean, at least Liroro has 40%, she only gets 16. All right, and we got another copy. This is way better than before. This is Karma, guys. Nothing. And nothing again, okay. Three more multis, and we have the SSR PT. Nothing. But yeah, in any case, for boss fights, I'm not really the best person to ask for because I really suck at bosses. So yeah, we'll have to wait for the real experts to test her out and tell us if it's good or not. It doesn't seem to be good, but who knows. And again, bad luck again, perfect. No, okay, this time there was a fake out uh, in the middle, pretty good. Well, my opinion on this unit is just that <clears throat> she is good for sure. I just don't know the damage potential, but she's definitely a really important unit for red. 
I think this allows us to run two red teams in some sort of some sorts. Well, pretty much only if you haven't maxed out Evan Kell, I think. Because Evan Kell can make a team on her own with Michael, Warion, and other units, and then you can use this new Warion with Viol, uh, maybe Xerxia Romay and stuff like that. <laughs> Yeah, the design is good. The design of the unit is good. All right. Yeah, yeah. It's strange that you can play them both in the same team. It's really strange. All right. All right. I'll take it. I'll take it. I think the luck improved a lot, guys. So we might be able to get her to three red before the next SSR PT. Hats level damage. Mm. Hi, hi, monkey. Hats level damage. I don't know. I hope not. <laughs> I hope she has higher damage than Hats, but even then, she would still be useful because, like, I would already rate her like S tier only for the crowd control alone. If she can also deal damage, then better, but I don't really care. But is Hats level damage when it was in the early game or just the current Hats level damage in the higher floors? I don't know. Yeah. I mean, for the crowd control alone, is great. If she can deal damage early on, she could also be a good option if you are starting a new account to add as a fifth spot. But I think it's more for later on, once you have your teams built, you can also pull for her and get some copies. Like, get some utility out of her tankiness and crowd controls in general. Can I get more copies? I mean... Yeah, but even if she deals no damage, guys, it's fine. Really, I mean, at least she, like, she can take aggro at the start of the fight. She walks forward, not like Vicente that stays that stays still and stuff. So that that's already enough. You can give her 100% resistances. She will survive, and she will also crowd control the enemies, stop them from casting active skills and stuff. Really good. <laughs> yeah I mean with the additional physical peers she can also be good with a potential raptor but I don't have him so I have no clue she's definitely a great unit guys I mean it's what I was it's what I was hoping for with Vicente if they gave Vicente this kind of kit maybe obviously changed because Vicente is using a, a sword, not a spear, but whatever, or stuff. But still, I mean, this kind of utility in Vicente's kit would have been better, in my opinion, than just a grab and then evasion reduction and stuff. I don't know. All right, let's go again. Let's hope for Machini here. Close, close, big Machini. No, not the small one. Let's go again. I think for ignition weapons, you can run whatever you want as long as you have 100% resistances in both physical and magic. Look, guys, it's impossible. This is really impossible. This is what? The sixth time in a row that whenever I reroll, I get the same exact unit. This makes no sense. <laughs> Why is there even a, an again button? Why? <laughs> okay, whatever. But yeah, for ignition weapons, I would say you can run Runda, you can run Doris, you can run Idea, you can run Bergamot, you can run Miongo, the defense set, however that's pronounced. You can really run whatever you have as long as you can give her 100% resistances. 
probably the best option would be an hybrid between different sets but i mean at the end of the day it doesn't really matter if she deals no damage you just need her to survive you can give her whatever you want Yeah, I don't know when, when they're going to release in Lilia, probably never, but okay. And Data Machine is not a bad option for DPS, but probably like you need way too much investment, like three red, and you need quite a bit of, of swiftness on your assassins. So it's not really that cheap, but it's possible to, to build her as a DPS. To L2 Doris to maximize her passive. Yeah, that's definitely a good thing. It's probably the best in slot uh, for, for her. Yeah, it is possible to, to get to 100% resistances, yeah. Difficult, but possible. You need the Triessence facility as well. What's up with my luck today? Already so many pulls and no copies, whatever. I need to check if I can get her to... Yeah, I can get her to, because she's a warrior, so I have this bergamot set for her. Hey, hi, Pharos. Thank you for for the luck, but so far, it was quite bad. I mean, quite a bad session. I mean, I got a lot of copies, but the overall amount of SSR units is quite low. So, yeah. Good luck as well on your on your stream. Well, the resistances are just going to reduce the damage the unit takes, and if you can get her to 100% resistances, she's basically going to take no damage at all. Yeah, sure, obviously if I find you in the arena, monkey, well, I will not attack you. Maybe. Because if I do, I will lose, probably, so, yeah. What's going on with my summons? I mean, no SSR in like, what, 70 pools? I don't remember. Really terrible. Whatever. But it's my fault. I said, yeah, I'm going to get her to three red before the next SSR PT. Sure, and here I am. At the next SSR PT and she's not three red. Why? Why this unit? <laughs> Not even in the wish list. Okay. And nothing again. So many wasted pools. It's awful. How many copies I have? Mm. It should be three red already with the with the additional ones from the growth mission, so I can take it. Let's go here. Ah, yeah, well, sure. I have to limit break first. <laughs> yeah, it also happened to be, but like with some other weird guys that only gave me 10 points every time. Really small amounts. I have no idea with R and SR units. I don't even think they're going to, to give us more of them in the future. They're just going to stay the ones we have and who knows. All right, here we are. I can also unlock the first node. Yeah, why not? We're, we are getting so many of those resources. I might as well unlock it. Then let's go here. Growth mission. And let's take the free copies. Ah, I have to limit break again for the second one. Damn it. Um, like there is a new unit every two weeks for sure, and also events coming with that. There is always a check-in event, there is always stuff going on, so yeah.
Yeah, for anniversary, I don't know. I think they are going to release a new version of BAM, pretty much. I don't think they are going to do anything crazy. I mean, that would already be good enough. I just hope they are not going to start releasing units from the uh, Season 3 of the Man War. Like, maybe if they want of the early Season 3, that's fine, but not the late Season 3. That's really too much, like they're doing with... Uh, with the new ancient track that's going to be releasing on April 25. Tester with compressed rack and Dorsey Caraca. Yeah, a Craptor would be good, but I don't have him, so yeah, kind of difficult. But the question is, where should I test her? I think we. Wait a second, let's also throw some dice here. Should I do 23 at the same time or one at a time? I think it makes more sense to go 23 at a time. Just so, nah, but with 23, there is no way I can get five laps, right? Yeah, the thing is, if I try adventure now, they're going to attack me in the L train because my combat power is going to go down a lot. I have to move around ignition weapons that's what i hate i mean they should kind of separate the two things whenever you save a composition or a team they should also lock the ignition weapons for pvp it's not possible that whenever i move them in adventure then that will also reflect on the pvp portion it's really stupid Yeah, well, I mean, we already have two BAM if we consider that Viol is a version of BAM. But yeah, yeah, I get your point. And we're also getting three Rack for some reason. There is still only one Kunagero. They could release a second version somehow. I don't know. Friendly fight, but I don't know. That's more like PvP stuff. I don't know if it's really that helpful with the testing. I was quite unlucky, wasn't I? Here. Hmm. I don't know, cannot tell. Well, four laps. Probably not too bad. But that's okay. But we already have Enma Kunagir. I mean, his special move is already... What happened here? It's all bugged, whatever. But his special skill is already like the Enna core stuff. I don't know if he shows his lighthouse, but I think it was already the upgraded version. But yeah, like the... What's going on here with this awful menu? Okay. Maybe now it's fine. I also have one free SSR here. Let's try again. Whatever. Not a good one. Okay, I mean, we can try adventure. We can. The thing is... Okay, whatever. I will lose some points. It doesn't matter. It's 14 days uh, event, so I will. <sighs> but the problem is that I'm not against good teams now. I, have a, I am against blue and green. Damn it. Really no way for a red team to shine. Maybe against this one. No, not against this one. Not against... Well, no, not against this one. And not this one as well. Probably the only option would be here. Okay, but that would mean that I don't have any purple team. But it should be fine. Okay, let's try it. So, where are you? Here. Who's supposed to be the DPS? Compress rock? Probably. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's true. But I mean, the, the buff is only 16%, so it's not really too important. But is it fine? If my endorse has 81 swiftness, I don't think she's going to group that well, but okay, 
whatever, we can try. Uh, the thing is, who's the last one? No, I don't think so. Oh, they're not too bad. I mean, I don't really care about the title, but I want to at least get to the station or something. Yeah, I have 100% resist. But wait, I picked the wrong one. Damn it, they, are, they look the same. Wait, didn't I? Limit breaker to three red already. Probably I didn't. But okay, it's the same, doesn't matter. I will do it later. I will give her, not this set, this one is terrible. I will give her the Pergamot one to have here, this one. This way she has 100% resistances in both. Yeah, Escanor can also group, you're right. But, okay, I was not using him for some reason. Why? Okay, interesting. For some reason I wasn't running a blue team in this board, but okay. We can directly test and we remove the ones that could be problematic because they survive too much. So that we can test this a bit more quickly. I will give this guy... Well, Arunda is fine because they have to give... Okay, this guy already has it. This guy already has this one as well. Perfect. I think it's fine. I still haven't tried her. I mean, I only tried her at zero dupes. And with 100% resistance, she can still survive just fine, zero dupes, but I don't know. Put her on side, okay? I will do it later, I already clicked. No, I will just pull for Ancient Rock and be happy about it. It's going to be a great unit, and that's it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's too late. We all know it's going to be Ancient Rack. We cannot do anything about it, whatever. Let's just see this team here. You can also try to slow it down a bit just to see a bit better, but cool. My game crashed at the right time. I would say. Give me a second, I'm opening it again. <laughs> yeah, it was going way too slow. Also during the animation, probably was open for way too long today. And now it crashed. So now that I'm here, I can also just limit breaker since I forgot. Here we are. Great. And we can go on. I hope they saved the teams. Yes, they did. Okay. On the side, maybe on that side is better. This one in the middle. We will see. We will see how it goes. But yeah, otherwise I just have to clear these two stages, but it would take way too long, probably for a live, and I don't think I can really use her that much. I could increase our effect resistance at the moment because it's tier one, right, in the revolution. Hmm. Would probably be a good idea, at least I can Reduce the time she gets her resistance is decreased. Now, let's see if I can slow down this stage a bit. And Orsi really survived no time. She died immediately. Compressed Rack is also dead. And Warion also died from the reduction that that stupid Ryan applied, so we're really not the best option at the moment. Yeah. 
Not really working, man. In this in this situation. This guy is too annoying. I will need to kill that guy. I mean, we might as well. Since I have no better use for this unit here. Nice compress rock, man, not GB. <laughs> but okay. Where is it? Ariana Magic Pierce, more or less. I think this should be fine. We don't have Warion. I could also use Warion instead. Double Warion, just because why not? And we can try like this and see if Warion can survive a bit more. Really not a good timing for for testing. I mean, I'm in a floor with too many blue units. All right. Yeah, it's not bad when he stands for people. All right, that's already done. Let's see. Okay. It's going way better than before because now without Ren, they cannot kill my units, so it's fine. They, they can only kill Compressed Rock. Exactly, and they did, damn it. I don't know if they have enough damage now to kill them. Maybe. Wow, not bad. All right. Not enough damage. Could still be possible if that ran uh, ran dies. Hmm. Don't think so. All right, Kunran died. Let's see if Novik can also die. Yeah, and here she's also fighting blue teams. So, well, that guy also <laughs> decreases the damage he takes from physical. So not going to hand well, but I think for the first try is not a bad option here. I just had to get rid of that annoying Ren. Yeah. She cannot really carry. We just need to see. This is an easy win if you can kill Kunran before he kills my, my compressed rock. But I could use anyone instead of him. Let me see if I have a free. No. I don't even have a free Ren. Maybe I could use Yeonhi instead of compressed rock. No. Whatever. Let's just try it this way again and see if it changes anything. Yeah, the, but I mean, she was against blue, so it makes sense for her to deal no damage. I haven't checked the stats. I should have. Yeah, true. I mean, Vicente can also get some nice uh, damage increase, but it's only an 18% at the end of the day. It's not really going to be that that impactful, but yeah. All right. Let's just hope Compress Rack can kill that Kunran. No, he died. Who killed him? I didn't see it was too quick, but okay. And now Warion also died. It's close enough. With some retries, it's definitely possible, but yeah.
Hmm. Vicente can carry. I mean, I could try him because then he's going to get rid of uh, Ren and he's going to do the same thing that I'm using Michael for. But the issue is that I usually run him with the same set that uh, Warren is, is using at the moment. I could try if Warren can get to 100% resistances with one of my Runda sets. The thing is that those are meant for supports, so they have more physical resistance than magic resistance. Hmm. Damn it. Okay, now it's a two on one. And Warion is probably going to die. After this, I want to see the damage, but I mean, it's kind of messed up because she's the only one alive that's dealing damage. Karaka is not really a DPS unit. This one is closer though, but she died, damn it. And Karaka cannot kill them. Yeah, I mean you could you could use him, and usually I don't use the uh, the friend support anyway. So yeah, why not? We could test it as well. This is really getting close, but like it could be. No, okay, I'm not testing that. <laughs> well, actually, actually, whatever. Let's try with this, just for fun. She could be good. Yeah, yeah. In the meantime that you're uh, giving him the set, I will try with Mashani. I didn't get the copy, unfortunately. Uh, I was hoping for the three blue Mashani, but no, only two blue. It's so annoying to use him, like to test the fourth team because we have to wait for four teams to, to lose. Uh, she doesn't really need the Rainbow Five. One red is already fine because you get the passive effect. Oh, look at this. Okay, whatever, she died. But now it's a three on one. This should be, okay, two on one. This should be winnable. 56 seconds only to deal with that guy. Definitely possible. Come on, you can do it. Uh, what was he saying? Yeah, you just need one red and then you can win. Uh, like you just need to get to give her 100% resistances and she can survive. And even if you don't want to give her that many resistances, it's fine just for the initial energy uh, when you use her together with Michael or Vicente, she's going to regen energy for the whole team and that's already enough, then she can die, and that's fine. Let's have a look at this team. All right, yeah, she cannot really deal a lot of damage, seems like. But yeah, Mashini dealt a ton. We already knew that unit is broken. <laughs> well, it's not broken, but she's definitely good. And it's only two blue. That's the interesting part. Then we have Michael that only did the damage to kill uh, Ren, fine, all he had to do. And then, yeah, just no damage overall. She only did two times the damage of the other Warion, but the other Warion just died like a lot earlier. Okay, okay, you already... But the thing is, should I now finish the other three fights? I think it makes sense, and then we can move on to the next stage. Let's see, who did I have here? I think this one makes sense. Ah, damn, I will have to, again, change the ignition weapons for the train. I hate it. Then this one. I will leave idea on her, I don't want to change to 
to Rayana. So it's fine, whatever. This one. And he should already have some sort of set. They don't have shields, so it's fine. Well, actually I should use this one here. Yeah, makes more sense. And this one, let's just do it like this. Change this one. All right. So, well, it's already in the 464 slot. It's fine. I will leave it like this. Yeah, Big Machine is not bad. I mean, I don't even have her Revolution, so she's the same as before. Really, no buffs. But with Revolution and then with the addition of regular Veroro, she's definitely way better than before. But she still up, outputs a ton of damage. Like after the L set introduction, she was already quite good. And this team is sucking hard. So, nope. Okay, my ask pattern is not working. Now, now, now. I think I will have to give her Rihanna. Would be a better pick. But now who am I going to use in this team here in the first one without Karaka? I mean I can use Ascanor. Yeah, I can use I can just use Ascanor. It's fine. Wow. Really? He dies immediately. Terrible. He dies immediately. I might as well use this team against him. There is really no particular uh, like unit that benefits too much from the idea set that's going to be broken, but like it can be used on most units that were running Bergamot pretty much. Not sure it's worth the investment early on, but still, it'd be a good thing. Blank? Blank would be... Why? Hmm. Just because he's going, she's going to buff two units, or I don't know. Hmm. I mean, there are units that can benefit from it, but no one that really becomes busted because of it, or anything. Uh, this one... I think this one is fine, whatever. I will just give the additional swiftness to Hiwa. Where are you? This one. Then here, Runda Runda. And let's see like this. I mean, it gets the additional accuracy, so that's something. But other than that, I don't think there are really that many benefits. Life still is okay, but not really important. All right, let's see if Evan can do something good here. Nope. Damn it. I don't think they can win this. No, there's no damage here. I should replace Vespa. I will try with Compress Rock. At least it should help burst down some annoying units. Let's see. Uh, 
All right. Come on, Compress Rock, I believe in you. More or less, not really, damn it. This is going to take too many retries. I could run the blue team here, actually. Yeah, I have all blues available. Let's do it. Screw that. Well, there is really no one that can be killed by the road, so whatever. Yeah, true, the effect resistance is nice, that's for sure. Yeah, I mean, if you give him the 100% resistances to Meliodas, he can survive, but the thing is, you're going to lose out on too much damage, I think. Well, this is mine and is also sacking hard, but used with Escanor is somewhat fine, I think. Yeah, quite a bad set, but okay. Yeah, without the Pierce, he's not going to deal a lot of damage from his ultimate because he's going to scale with that. So, yeah. Come on, run. This one. This guy here. I don't have a Rayana resistances, so I will just use. Where is it? Ah, this one. Usual one. And this guy. I'm going to give him this. Yeah, not the best, but whatever. I could even give him, actually I should, probably replace this one. It's something like the, not the best, but better than before, probably. Yeah, this one looks better. Okay, okay, sure. Thank you, Monkey, for, for being here. All right, I will just try this comp and see if I can beat this annoying Gurek, whatever. He's a full blue team against, what, three green units? But it's fine. Doesn't matter. Blue is just stupid. Hopefully. We'll see. Wow, great job, Ulrich, you already died, already useless. And here, everyone died. Also, work almost died, but not enough. Let's make some green units here and there. I think I can make Kun run the carry and just remove Meliodas. Go there, man. I could even use... And this guy here is pretty much useless unless I give him the resistances. Dimash, yeah. I could use her. Thank you for the heads up. Oh, 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 oh. Now let's try with him. And then in case I will just go with some more green stuff. Actually, nah, it's a 597 to kill him with Misang. I would need to use her on the highest link. I don't want to. Let's just go like this. Yeah, not the best, but still fine. He's together with Escanor. Let's try. Come on, I want to clear this stage so that you can try more of the new Warion. Because otherwise I don't really know where to test her. Like, I could... If I use her in PvP, it really makes no sense. Or I could just go out and try her again in this stage, but this stage is really not 
good for red units in general. Is my team alive? No. Why why is Escanor dead? Not good. Work is the last one remaining, cool. But it deals no damage, so there's no point in watching. Alright. All right, let's try with this. But even then, she's going to be killed quite easily, I think. Aurora wouldn't be a bad choice, but no. Who's reducing resistance is your... Oh, okay. Machine, damn it. Okay, let's try what Monkey said. With the additional machine here, just in case. Hoping that my Elizabeth can survive and deal some damage. Maybe I should even give her a better set, damn it. Alright. Let's try again. Really annoying. Otherwise, I have to use my last card, which is the hard in the Hiwa team. That would be pretty much overkill, but there is only one work here, so I might as well. All right, no, okay. She's still alive. She's going to die soon. Damn it. And now she's dead. Now the rest of my team is going to die, but they deal no damage whatsoever. I need to kill that annoying Lozelle. How could I kill her without someone that can just wipe the whole, the whole enemy team? So yeah, again, this is the best option. And here, let's go with Zahard and see how it works. This one. It really takes too much time to clear these stages. Can wait to see Mad Dog and Bam's Master. Okay, you mean Yama and uh, Jin Sung Ha? Yeah, yeah. They would be really cool. I don't know why Jin Sung Ha is not in the game already and we're getting Ancient Track. Damn it. Every time I think about it, it's just stupid to me. Yeah, I pulled for, for the new Warion. We already cleared one of the four stages with her, but now I was trying to clear the remaining ones uh, to try her in some other stages as well. But it's a bit difficult at the moment. No, I misclick. Not this set. This one. But she's only three red at the moment, so not really that much invested. Because I wanted to first try her with, with that amount of investment to see how she performs. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much the reason. All right. If this team doesn't win, then I don't know who could. Let's see. Otherwise, I have to rely on Miss Sang on the highest link. I don't want to do that. Because she because then Ulrich is going to wipe my, my whole team. All right. There is n there are no shields. Damn it. And then he's dead. Not good. Let's try again. I spent like what, 350 ish, I think, or less. Hmm. 
Actually, I don't remember. I have to check. I think I had like 640 at the beginning. Now I'm with 300 or so. Yeah. But I also used 170 hot deal tickets. And those only gave me one copy of the new variant. Only one. It was really insane. It was really, really insane. Man. Okay. Okay. That's better. That's better. That's better. Come on. I count on you, Evan. Evan. Yes. Easy win. Well, not really easy, but good. Yeah, but I don't think it's like it's not going to be a good unit for the anniversary. So yeah, I I don't know where they could use him to be honest. This one, okay. This one should be fine. I can also use Uruk to get rid of that annoying cordon. Whatever, should be fine. All right. Then I will have to give all the units again Rundas for the Hell Arena, Hell Train Arena. Damn it! They should really do something to fix the the ignition weapons. Whenever you save the composition, they should just save also the ignition weapons, and that's it. If you move them in adventure, it shouldn't have any kind of impact, because it's really too stupid that whenever I move stuff, I'm also going to lose combat power in the Hell Train Arena. That's really dumb. Or, P or all kind of PVPs for that matter, just stupid. So here, let's just go with her there, that's fine. He needs to kill that annoying guy. How much effect resistance does my Joaquin have? Effect resistance 74. Eh, yeah, I should probably invest a bit more, whatever. Should be fine for now. Yeah, let's try. If we can clear this, then I can finally use the new Warion again. But yeah, I mean, the damage is probably not going to be high in any case, as we saw before. She's not a damage dealer. Also, like her percentages are really low. She has no damage increase whatsoever just additional attack speed okay here we got destroyed interesting interesting i would like to kill that annoying ran but if he's not dying here hi hi gt gamer the best ignition weapon set for hiwa and the hard for hiwa the best set is going to be the l set with Magic Peers and for the hard is going to be normally the Bergamot set and like against the against users that have shields in that case it's going to be the L set because you can then spam a special skill uh, on a loop and also get benefits from the additional attack and attack speed. Now here I should change things around but the thing is, how much effect resistance does he have? Six. Okay, this guy is never going to last. That guy is never going to last. Unfortunately, I already used Michael. Otherwise, I could have used... I could have used an Evankel comp here. But I already used Michael. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Already used Karaka, that's terrible. I could use Ghost, no, no Ghost. Vicente. No, that's really. Child Yuri over Vankel to get to R5. I don't know, I mean. Probably yes, probably yes. I would go with Child Yuri before Evankel. But yeah, the thing is that 
you don't have really a lot of options then in the red team if you don't have a Bunkel as well. But it should be fine. Yeah, it's probably better to have an additional green that can sometimes deal with Urek and with a lot of other teams. So yeah, Yuri is probably more more useful. Now, if I want to go with Vicente, the thing is I should give in this set, which I can't. So, no, I cannot really go with Vicente there. Who am I going to use as a tank? Damn it, I already gave up on Karaka. Here I don't have a tank. I could use Shane, but it's kind of weird. And again, I need the same set that Joaquin is wearing, damn it, for her as well. So no way. This guy is also going to not tank enough. Maybe you wreck? No. She is going to survive for sure, but ah, what a weird team. Joaquin should survive though. He has 100% in both resistances and enough effect resistances in theory, but it's taking so much damage. Let's see. No, Ren is still alive. Damn it. Joaquin is still alive as well, so let's hope for the best. Nope, obviously not. Because whenever that guy can reduce the magic resistance of my team, then it's over. That Ren needs to be destroyed, but it's not really working. I can try like this, so that we can have... But at this point, I'm just sacrificing, sacrificing this guy. I don't like it. This is even worse, probably. But let's try. Yeah, I know, but I already used Karaka in the new Warion comp uh, to test it. Not the best choice. I know, I regret it, but okay. Accuracy is always useful in the Tree Essence facility, but evasion depends on which, which facility. In, in the intelligence one, it really gets useless uh, really soon, like around probably floor 40-ish, 44, 45. Then you can just remove all the evasion you have. Then for warriors, probably around floor 50, it's also becoming pretty much useless. The only one that can still use it are assassins and range, so the dex facility, but that's about it. Now, damn it. I mean, I could, I could do this. Because even then, this guy, how much physical resistance? Quite low, quite low. Damn it. Okay, whatever. Let's see. Even if he dies, I, I think he, he died already. Uh, like He already dies anyway, so it doesn't matter. Even if I have him killed. Nope. Those are not the units you should focus on, Joaquin. You should kill Ren. Ren is dead. Perfect. Then this fight is going to be a bit easier than before. I just said it, and obviously my guy died here because Blarod is such a pain. <sighs> like, as soon as he remained the last unit on the field, my Joaquin got his resistances decreased to zero because of that stupid Blarod, and I lost. Damn it. But this is way better because now Kisei is killing Ren, which is great. And then I just need to hope for Joaquin to cast a good skill and kill Blarod as well. If Blarod dies, now look, Ren survived. How did he survive? Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Maybe like this. No, it's probably better if he survives. Is it? Let's try it. Yeah, it's also pretty much useless in PvP as well because a lot of people will, uh, will have a ton of accuracy. So it's not really going to be that helpful. Yeah, I already did my pulls 
and I have uh, the new variant at what was that? A three red, yeah. All right, if Blarot dies, yes, okay. This is a win finally. It took forever. But now that guy has no ways to reduce the resistances of my Joaquin, so Joaquin cannot really die. Good. All right. Yeah, yeah, but I will also take her to Rainbow 5. It's just that I want to test her first without the additional investment. Just for testing purposes. Then here, let's just go with this guy. I mean, Run uh, is really strong with, uh, well, the new set helps a bit, but it's not really that game changing. The thing is you need to run him with both resistances and you want to run him with regular Leroy as well. Those two together are great. Without one of the two is just lacking overall. Where is the other set? This one should be fine. Here I should definitely run regular Leroy though, like where is he? This one. I don't need her, I would say. So let's just go with him as well. Yeah. No, still no streamer luck. I was just like, I think for I don't know how many pools I got nothing. It was really insane. But at least I got like the majority of the pools were the new Warion. So I didn't get a lot of SSR in total, but at least I got a lot of the new Warion. Uh, so it's fine. Still better than I expected. And I have to change this guy's set as well because I, there is an overlapping piece. I need to go with this one. Yeah, slightly less magic resistance, but I don't care. This one is also fine. There is Eskenor in the team. So, yeah, let's try. Now we can finally clear this annoying stage, and then I can move on and try to use the new warrior in the single stages, I would say, it makes sense. Even though they're going to be, again, blue, and green, but still fine, I think. Should be doable. All right, Rachel died, whatever. All right. Who's the last one? How is that guy so tanky? But this is fine. Let's just look at the damage in the other stages. Okay, well, this one was a given. It was the only one alive for a long time. Here, okay, pretty much expected. Here, Ren dealt a lot of damage. All right, Leroy also did quite some damage. Wasn't expecting it. More damage than work, but no, well, whatever. Work is just a meme at this point. And in this one was the team with the new Warion. I also used Mashini. She dealt a ton of damage. Not bad. Now let's move on. It will be a pain if I use the new Warion, but yeah, let's do it. The thing is, I cannot really use super optimal teams. She she wants to go with physical damage dealers in theory, but red doesn't really have any other than a Craptor, which is probably going to be a really good unit now with the revolution. 
in general so could be worth investing in i will definitely add him in the wish list sooner or later vicente also got a bit of a buff but i do not believe he's going to be a carry with just wiring alone this 16 percent increase is really not going to be too impactful okay i cannot use michael here and from the red team, I don't think I can use anyone. I will just use someone from different team who has the best physical damage dealer. Only this guy, probably. Or Oakin. I could use Oakin. Then we need someone to group enemies, but... Hmm. Nah, who cares? Let's just go with the standard team. Now I can only pick one of the two. Let's go with Gustang. And again, let's keep the, the sets. So annoying. Okay. Okay, no. Ah, damn it. I cannot use Joaquin because to give her 100% resistances, I have to use this set, which is Joaquin set. Ah, damn it, damn it, damn it. Then, yeah, let's go with Compress Rack. He shouldn't get killed. I mean, he will get killed for sure by the hard. But that's fine. If you can kill the remaining units in time. It's fine if only the hard is left. Warren should be able to deal with him, in theory. I hope so. This guy here needs the defense set. I think we should be good to go. I could even... Okay, if it fails, I will try with a full red comp. Nah, too difficult, probably. I will I will use her in a full yellow comp at that point. Instead of the three purple guys, I will just add Evan Bam and Shibisu probably. Damn it. Not good. If only compress rack could deal a bit more damage. Not much, but a bit more. Still Warion, as you can see guys, with 100% resistances, the units are really, really tanky in general. She got a lot of life back from her exclusive equipment there. When she was dodging the hits from the enemies that were not provoked. So, really good sustain there. The thing is, there is no damage, or at least not enough damage against those units and no damage at all against those blue guys. But we can see the utility alone is huge. So, I mean, for me, Warion is definitely worth it. In general, as a unit. I really like her. But here we need a DPS that can also survive. I will try again because we had luck last time with Mashini. Let's try she has no, like, she's only too blue, no investment at all. She only has my L set. Also, the accuracy is low, though. She has no accuracy, damn it. Because the enemies have 800. She has 749. I really need to unlock her revolution, but I need one more copy. Let's just see. Yeah, a lot of ranged units have survivability issues, that's true. But at least Warion can help buy some time. She's there, she's a good frontliner. Damn it, she already died. She already died. I didn't check if the blue enemies were already dead. It could have been a win, I don't know. But let's just use her in this kind of team. 
let's keep using compress rack as the main DPS, just because why not? And then go with I cannot use Shibisu, damn it. Because Shibisu uses the same set. I don't have a lot of good sets to get to 100 percent resistances on warriors. So that's a problem. I will need to invest in better sets. I cannot use Shibisu as I said, so let's use Let's use, I have no clue. I could use this guy. They don't have reductions. I might even use this. Yeah, let's use Ren. Should be fine to add some damage here and there. Uh, this one. No, uh, again. I hate it. We have a lot of overlapping pieces. So let's use this one, but wiring is going to be 97% yeah, magic. But magic is only dealt by this guy and probably Horiang. The other three should be physical, so it's fine. The thing with units is that you really need too much investment like or you need a lot of good ignition weapon sets before you can say whether a unit is good or not. It really depends too much on ignition weapons. I mean, if Ren wins, which is probably going to happen, that only proves that Ren is strong, but nothing really for war in there. And he's probably also not going to win because Yuri is really annoying. Yeah, Yuri is way too annoying. Whatever. Nobody's going to die there. Here, the thing is, I should swap the units this way and see what changes. because my Evan died way too quickly. All right, way better. Damn it, they are destroying my support units. And Warion died again, even worse than before, but Compress Rack is still alive. This is a huge plus. This is a huge plus. Great. Now one against one. Let's see who wins. Mm, in 30 seconds it's going to be difficult, but okay. Quite good. You should have enough time. Yes. Cool. So we won this, but yeah, all the damage was done by those two guys. Warion didn't really output a lot of damage, but she died early. So yeah, hard to tell. In this case, we have an annoying data machine, damn it. This is also going to be difficult for, for Warion to to play. But uh, until I get to like 40 uh, to stage 41 plus, it's going to be annoying because I'm facing too many blue units for Warion to really shine. I just hope the next one is going to be red plus plus green. I don't remember the first 20 floors or the floor the first 20 stages what they were. Because if it's going to be I think the f yeah the first 20 were blue red pretty sure now it's blue green then it's going to be green red which is perfectly fine for a red team all right data machine already died so this one is an easy win but again the damage was obviously only dealt by compress rock and ran yeah compress rock
but that's fine. Those two units are carry units, so it's okay. Warion is really not a carry, in my opinion. I don't think she will ever be. She really has way too low multipliers. She has a lot of attack speed, but that's not enough. Her multipliers are just terrible. She might have enough attack because she's a warrior, but like with this, 240 is nothing. 800% on a special move is also nothing. So not good. And this spinning attack, like 240, okay, it's true that you're hitting multiple times, but still, I don't think the damage is quite okay. She's probably just going to be an utility frontline with crowd controls and stuff. But yeah, we will see. We will see. Yeah, this setup is still fine. We can see if it works. And then let's hope there is a, a team I can use her in, in the last, like in stage 40 of this floor. No damage to Koran, but that's a given. Why are you guys focusing so hard on the hard? And usually when you have a unit that can move quickly at the beginning, usually the hard shouldn't go for my heaven. I don't know why it was so close there. I might as well try to do this. The bull should help. Let's see if I can protect Evan a bit more. I only need him for like the future moves. So let's see. No, he got there. How? I need quicker units. Damn it. Yeah, sure. Thank you for passing by and good night. In the meantime, I will still try try this. Unfortunately, really, I have no ways to test her at the moment other than adventure. I don't think PvP makes sense. And yeah, this is the only content. No, she's not under average. She's just being used against blue teams, so we cannot really expect much. The damage, damage wise, I don't think she's going to be a carry. Maybe in the earlier floors, she can deal enough damage, like the same situation as the other Warion. But then in the later ones, she's just going to be a utility tank, pretty much. And now I need to figure out how to use those guys, like how to make them survive. Let's see if Kun Ran is going to ignore them or not. Because if Evan dies, the whole team is doomed. Well, compressed rack is doomed, so yeah. Okay. And obviously, Kun Ran is going for Evan. Let's just hope Ran and Ran. Can kill him? No, they cannot. R Compressed Rack is still alive though. So there is still a chance. No, there is no damage being dealt in this this team. Well, obviously with Blank and Luzel, it's really hard to kill the units, but whatever. I will have to kill. I could kill Luzel with my Cool, I would say. Or I could kill him with Michael. No, I cannot kill him with Michael. I could kill him with maybe no, not Missang because there are two frontline units. She's going to go for one of those. Damn it. Really annoying. I can kill him with Yuri. If I kill him with Yuri, I can then use Warion to cast special moves, but who should I use then? Really annoying. I would like to pass this fight using Warion, but it's going to be quite hard. It's going to be quite hard. Hmm. I'm not sure this is going to be a great option, but who knows. If 
I do it like this, she is going to be concealed in theory. So let's hope so. Let's hope Kuran is not attacking her even if she is concealed. All right. No, Evan died. Damn it. And okay, whatever. Only Ren survives. Only Ren survives. So let's just go with this. This guy is going to die, but then I'm not sure about anyone else. Well, we're going to see what happens. Let's try it like this. Really annoying. I didn't want this stream to be like adventure clear, but like is the only way I can test her. If you have better ideas, guys, to test the new Warion, or if you want to see some comps being used, whatever, let me know. Even though against, again, blue is quite hard to use. Damn it, they died. It was going so well. Well, more or less. And now it's impossible to kill them. I really need to kill that backline, but... But, 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 what can I do? Nothing much. I could try idea on her, but it's not really going to be helpful. I don't want to use the the blue team, uh, the sorry, the yellow team with Hiwa, but I feel like I might have to. So let's go like this, and the one in the middle. No, again, I cannot use Shibisu, damn it. Ah, ignition weapons are so annoying, guys. So annoying. I cannot use him because he's, he should be using the set that I gave to Wario. Damn it. Yeah, the thing is, I cannot use Joaquin because Joaquin should be using her set. So basically, all the close range ones are not use I cannot use them I could use compress rack and I did in the previous stages but he's like the only guy that I can pair with I don't have a craptor build that's a shame so I cannot really test him in here there is no one really yeah there is no one that deals physical damage other than Urek but Urek is should be using the same set. Regular Yuri. I tried, but not really that helpful. I will just go with this guy here, probably. Let's go like this. Do they have no, they don't have the equipment on. Wait. Before Evan didn't have the set. Maybe. Maybe it's just stupid I forgot to swap the ignition weapons before. Let's just give it a try and use this. Just in case. Maybe it was just me all along being stupid and not swapping the ignition weapons. Let's have a look. Yeah, but this time with a good frontline unit like uh, Zahard. Zahard actually went for Zahard. Okay, a bit of a weird statement, whatever. But at least it didn't focus on Evan, and my Evan could cast the, the skills. 
So yeah, good. Compressed rack died. So should still be doable. Yeah, pretty sure. We only have that annoying blank, but it should be fine. High, high remedy. Mm, yeah, I mean, the new wire unit is a great unit. The thing is, is not. It doesn't seem like a carry so far. So I would say she's just going to be a frontline unit with some utility, and that's pretty much it. She's going to buff physical damage, which is not really useful in, on red. Uh, it's pretty much the same logic as the Roro, unless you have a Craptor build. She's not really going to be that useful for red. But she can be used, for sure. You can still use her on red, ignoring the 16% physical pierce, because in my opinion is not too relevant. It could boost Vicente's damage and a Craptor, but not really too impactful. I would still run her as a frontline unit. Definitely has the potential, has a lot of crowd control. Really, really solid unit. Here, no one is dealing damage. Do I really have to use uh, Hiwa instead of Compress Rack? Hmm. Okay, yeah, that could be a good option. I cannot really try her in that comp because I don't have that many sets with a lot of resistances, so she, she would die probably, but okay. I need to remove him. Let's just go with Hiwa. Ah, come on. I need to finish these annoying stages so that I can use a proper red team. Can the healers die, please? Seems like they cannot. Okay, yes, they died, finally. Yeah, it's fine if the DPS is dead. They should still pull through. Yep, okay, cool. Should be a win, yep, great. Now it's the last annoying stage. Let's see how it goes. Well, we cannot really expect anything from her in terms of damage in this particular fight, but still it was okay. I don't really think she's going to be a DPS. Two low multipliers, yet base attack could even be good, but she has no buffs, anything. She's just going to be a frontline utility unit, pretty sure. Now, here, for the rest of the teams, let's go back and put Karaka in the purple team, otherwise it's a mess. First one should be doable, okay. This one, annoying Blur Road in the frontline. Another Urek. Okay, we have two Urek to deal with. One of them I will use a green team of sorts. Mm. Here we have all frontline units. I can use Misang probably to kill him. And the rest of them should find a way to survive, hopefully. Should be okay. This one is the most annoying one, like Blur Road. How, how should I deal with them? If I do this and he grabs Shibisu, perfect. Shibisu is not going to die. Bam. Yeah, could could suffer a bit, but it should be fine. Otherwise, I could do this. Yeah, she's concealed. One of the two are going to go in the middle. I fear like Ulrich is going to target my Evan here, but should still be okay. I will try to clear this one as the first team. Let's go and use... This one, the L set. 
I have to give Shibis to the set that Warion was using. So this one. Yeah, I don't have a magic user, so I can use this one. And that's fine. All right, let's just give it a shot. I will remove Karaka from there. Also that guy, so that it's all a lot quicker. All right, everyone's dead. All right. Okay, went better than expected. My whole team is protected now. If Blarod dies, we should be fine. All right, Blarod is dead. My Hiwa is dead as well. Evan is not casting a special move. Okay, cool. Still close enough, it can be easily uh, done. No, idea is not useless, it's just that I don't think it's a good idea to farm the secret floor now just to get idea, because there is really no great use for it. I mean, there are a lot of units that could use it, but no one that really becomes broken with it. So I don't know. I like the effect resistance from the two piece. I like the second quick ult, but nothing really too, too special. It's better than Bergamot on most units later on, not as a first set, but as a potential late game set. Sure, but I don't know. I don't think it's valuable enough to be worth the investment. And his whole team died again. This whole team died again. I can just... Well, actually I should use Child and Dorsey here, probably. This one is pretty bad. If Blarod grabs him, it's fine. If he grabs her, no. I could even do this. I don't like it. But I could do it. This, maybe. I don't know. Let's see what happens like this. Positioning can really get frustrating at times. Especially when there is a blur road in the middle, I still do not understand who's going to get grabbed. If you have that as a hard and max red, I would go for viol three red next. Is a really good carry. Alright. Why is the enemy child endorsing the one marked and not work? Damn it. The nothing here as well. Because the thing is, if I go with Yuri, she's going to target this guy. Not good. I could go with only Yuri. She would die before she can cast a special move. Unless, let me try one crazy thing here. Just this and then one unit to be grabbed. Like this. So that Blood Road grabs this useless unit. And I can try, actually, should I try with Rihanna? Let's first try with Rihanna. If it fails, I will try with um, with the resistance set. Yeah, definitely view all after after the heart. That's for sure. Now let's have a look. 
she's not going to kill did I put her in the 460 slot or the 440? Mm. Yeah, I mean, Viola is squishy, but you need to put him in a way that he can survive. Like, you need to position him well enough for him to survive. No, it's doable. That's not a, a big problem. The thing is, just my team compositions are just weird. Now, this should be a bit better. Now I can just remove that. Maybe, I mean, if I were to use, no, work Rayana don't want to. Just a random work and that's it. Work is already in team three. Team three, do I need him? Nope. So let's do it. Does he have a set? No, perfect. Let's try. If I can get to the next stage, I can show you how strong Violi is. Well, mine is uh, Rainbow Five, but still, uh, I had him at three red for like a lot of time, and he's pretty much the same. The only thing is that with Rainbow Five, he can become invincible a bit earlier, and it helps in certain scenarios, but. 3 red is good most of the times anyway. All right, now let's have a look. Damn it. He only she only killed one guy. Not good. Not good. Let's use someone else. Maybe a yellowy. Just for the additional buff. Why not? Let's try. Okay, there is a survey on the forums. Interesting. Interesting. I will have a look in the meanwhile while my child Yuri does nothing. Where is it? Event? Yeah, survey. Interesting. How long have you been playing? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, here they all died immediately. Not good. A lot of questions. We're getting a reward selection box A. Oh, okay. We got two boxes, 12 black market tickets. Not bad. Pretty cool. All right, now here, quite annoying guys. I don't think I want to use her to clear this stage. Let's just go with the hard. We can also use her in here, just in case. If I play units with resistances, I could even use Misang in the highest slot to kill him. But then the rest of the team is still quite annoying. But not too annoying for a purple team. Hmm. They're all physical units. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I mean, there are whales in this game that are really way too big for, <laughs> way too huge. All right, let's do this. Well, I have to put someone here, but whatever, go Chun Chung. Here we can try this. Then we can go with purple, this guy. Here is fine. I can use him as well. He has enough effect resistance to not be grabbed, so should be perfect. And then let's try with Kunagir first and then 
If it doesn't work, I will try with Gustang. All right, Rayana, Rayana, Rayana. No, damn it, I cannot use her <laughs> because I already have. Uh, I really need the second Rayana in general, really. It's not enough to have one. Then, perfect. Good thing it is. All right, L let's have a look. Let's have a look. Good job, Chun Chun. You are the number one. All right, he's dead. Now, if Joaquin can survive, this is a win. All right, Blaroni, Blarod is dead, so it's, it should be fine. Ah, they still have that guy there. Should still be fine. They have no way to reduce resistances, so yeah, it's fine. I mean, Joaquin with the resistances is just insane. He cannot die. If you get rid of the right units, it's fine. All right, so that's it. Then this team has three units. I think this setup is already fine because Ren is going to die. We're going to get energy. Not sure if I want to use machine here, but it could be interesting. Now here I need to get rid of this unit, like this enemy team now. They have a lot more shields. They have Lore shield, but it's going to last not much, so it's fine. Urek, Oriang, a lot of shields. So definitely it's a good spot for um, for the hard. Now here, let's go with this one. I will try full green team, but it's not really that that great against blue for some reason, because yeah. This is not marble logic. You deal double damage, but still not enough because your kit is not countering the enemy kit. Great. Now, the last spot. Highest attack enemy is going to be Lore for sure. So not really enough reason to use Child Yuri. Here, I could use Escanor, but I don't know, I'd rather not. I should use probably Blanc. I don't think I'm going to use a, a blue team anyway, so I might as well, yeah. Actually this way, so that is going to go towards the middle. Who's the 464? Okay, not her. Probably not even Rachel. Let's give it to, to the heart. All right, let's try like this. After we get rid of the two work teams, then perfect. We can move on to, to the other two. It should be a lot easier, even though Mashini is also annoying quite a bit, really annoying. What are all those misses? I think the, the main problem I have now is that I don't have enough accuracy, do I? Yeah, probably don't. I probably don't. There were too many misses there. How much accuracy does my the heart have? Damn it, nine short, but I mean, nine is not enough to be doing all those misses, I think. Yeah, I should have nine more, but I don't know where I can get it, whatever. I 
Let's try again. We just need a bit of luck. If he just hits his special move, we should be fine. Hit it. Mm, kind of. Not really. No, damn it. And now nothing. Maybe, maybe Ren can do it. Maybe, no, Ren cannot do it. Damn it. Too bad I didn't give him the L set with resistances. Oh, close, close. Yes, he did it. He did it. So it should be a win. Okay, cool. Ren is too strong, really. This guy is insane. Oh. Let's see. 18 seconds, yeah, kind of difficult, but Ryan can do it, I'm sure. Yes, only the hard. Great. Good job, Ryan. Good job, Ryan. Now the two works are gone. One data machine, no data machine. Now we can focus on this team first. I mean, we can go, as I said, with the usual red comp. Let's kill Ren for the additional energy. And Warion, let's give her this. The new Warion, we're going to give her... Let's start with this set, and then I will see if I have to give it to someone else. I don't think so. Frontline, frontline, frontline. Nah, let's not use ghost. That would that mm, that would be fun. No, let's not do it. No frontline here. I could use Escanor. I don't really want to though. No frontline in here either. The new unit is strong. It's just not a carry, so do not expect her to be carrying your team. It's just going to provide crowd control and a frontline and be a frontline unit, but not more than that, I would say. Now, whatever. Let's try, let's try with this. I mean, it's only a seven times deficit. It's not a problem, I would say, even if I run stupid units like this with no dupes. Now, let's see. Is it fine? No, I think it should be less than seven. No, uh, yeah, it's like six times deficit. Let's let's have a try. Let's give it a shot. If Ghost can survive, because that's the biggest question mark. <laughs> I don't think Ghost can survive, but maybe he can. Maybe he can. Maybe he can. All right, good job, Ghost, good job. All right, no, damn it, so close. So close, I mean, okay, they can kill Misang. They can probably even kill Zahard, but they cannot kill Kordan. Damn it. That Kordan needed to die. I could probably try to move the team around and it should be fine. Yeah, definitely the hard would have died, but not Gordon. But Ghost survived, that's surprising, I would say. Now, the thing is, I could move her there. I cannot move this unit. How much re physical resistance does she has? Not 100%. 100%, okay, I can leave her there. This new unit would be better in the opposing direction, but I cannot really move Michael. 
let's just try like this there should be no big change and yeah let's see I will probably also invest in in ghost really strong I mean it's surprising with just three blue it could survive in that scenario so interesting damn it I talked way too soon he died immediately here just by swapping these two units so let's just change it back again now I could use viol instead of her and probably Van Kel instead of him let's do it let's do it uh, viol can deal enough damage against blue so should be fine I think and the issue is that the issue is that I would have to give Evan Kell this set and then I have to change wiring set. Okay. Let's give her this one. Magic resistance. Not really relevant. There is only Cordon, but hopefully Viol can kill him. Yeah, should be able to kill him. And then we're only left with this first team. Shouldn't be a big problem, I would say. All right, go Viol. Just wipe them all out, please. Wipe them out. No, I still see Cordon, man. But Cordon is almost dead, so it's fine. Yeah, okay. Wait to... Come on, man. You cannot die like this. But it's done. It's a win. Easy. The new unit, well, she's also the only one alive here for some reason. But yeah, the new unit is good. Just she's not a damage dealer. She's only a tank. If you're looking for a tank, then she's awesome. If you're looking for a carry, she's not the unit you, you want. Now, that's also done. Let's go with the first team. Now I have plenty of options, even though I hate Tata Mashini. But it should be fine. The highest attack unit is Lore. Damn it. Let's go with the yellow team, I would say. Pretty standard. Then. Bam, Hiwa, Shibisu. In the middle, on the, la the right, the right. That's right. And the middle one, maybe Vespa, but do I have any better option? Maybe. Maybe yes, okay, this one, I like it more. Yeah, I mean, three red can tank, as you, as you saw from the previous fight. The thing is, you need a good ignition weapon set with 100% resistance. That's the thing. Like every unit can survive as long as you can give them 100% resistances. That's it. If you can't, it's a problem. It's probably going to be, she's probably going to be too squishy. I will try her in the next fight without 100% resistances just to see, but I doubt she's going to survive. Now here, I'll set this guy here, this one, damn it, physical resistance is a bit too short, but okay, fine, we can do it, yes, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I also hope it's going to be released soon. And it's hopefully going to be a good damage dealer. But like all close range units are kind of suffering one way or another, so I'm not sure. 
unless it's going to be someone like Joaquin with a lot of like dodges and stuff that ports I don't know but I really hope it can be a bruiser or some sort of damage dealer for sure now Shibisu should be able to kill the hard so I don't need to restart this try all right done And we're finally out of this blue shit. Now it should be red. No, okay, it's back to yellow and purple. All right, that's fine. That's totally fine. Ah, yeah, no, no worries, no worries. I mean, the thing is, if you want to use her as a tank, a three red, and probably also higher than 3 red is not really going to change the enemies are going to destroy you at high deficit but you need 100% resistances this set is not relevant like in this case I have a bergamot that can give me that but it's really not important I'd rather have a Doris set to be honest instead of this uh, bergamot just so that she can also buff the backline DPS stuff like that or you could go for an hybrid uh, attack speed and swiftness, whatever. The set is really not too important. It's just resistances. If you have it, great. If you don't, she's probably also going to die at higher, uh, higher dupes. Now, just for the sake of testing, I will go with this set, which is not going to be 100% resistances. It's close to 90, so it should still be worth a test. So, yeah, we will see if she can survive a 3 red without the 100% resistances. Now, against this team is also a problem because this guy can reduce the resistances. This guy, I don't remember. I think, yes, with customer care, he probably can with the exclusive equipment. This guy can also reduce resistances, yeah. And this guy as well. Really, really annoying. Uh, yeah, then then yeah, it's it's going to be difficult for her to be an actual tank, I believe. But now I will try with 90% resistances, which should be easy enough to get, maybe. And then we will see. Now here, let's use a full red team. Her best units to, to use her with are probably going to be a Craptor, but I don't have him built at all. So I cannot test it just because this guy deals physical damage and she buffs physical damage. I still don't believe this 16% is going to be too important, but still a nice buff. Vicente can also benefit from it. And that's pretty much it for, for this element. Really weird choices like they did for regular Deroro. They gave him the magic beers in this element that other than Rachel and Ren really deals no magic damage. Okay, you're on here as well, but whatever. So really weird choice. They did the same now for Warion. So I don't know which kind of game they're playing, why they're doing this kind of random shit, but okay. It's fine. Now, Michael, Warion. The last one is pretty much free. If I were to use, this would be probably too much. Let's go with the frontline unit. Let's go with Karaka for now. Let's go with Karaka. So she's already okay, good. And that's fine. And for her. Let's go with Runda, which one? It's the same, okay. Now, is that guy the highest attack? I believe so. 570, yeah, for sure. Or could even be the chicken. Okay, no, he's Lurker. So let's kill Lurker first. Then let's, yeah. Seems like an easy team. Maybe I'm missing something. 
the important thing is that Gustang dies, but hopefully Bam, if he's not dumb, is going to kill him. So that's it. But even now, like like this kind of showcase, I don't think it's really showing how good Warren is because, okay, well, look, without 100% resistance, she just got destroyed, literally. And fortunately, we have Viol that can just destroy the enemy team. Damn it. I hate Gustang. I really hate him. She died immediately. I should probably try to give her let's try her again i will put her in the other on the other side but i don't think without the resistances she can survive even at orange four even a rainbow five she's probably still going to die pretty sure so i don't know yeah yeah definitely for sure. Now she's surviving. She survived for some reason, but okay. Yeah, but the thing is, like in this game, a lot of things depend on your ignition weapons. There are units that have a great kit if they survive. If they just die, obviously they are useless. Like Shibisu, that you saw me using also in the previous clears was thought to be a useless unit like everyone was sure of it i met, like uh i was also sure of it but if you can give him 100 percent resistance that, that that guy is just going to be an insane boost in damage for your per, for your yellow team really really insane so yeah there are just units that get a lot better with ignition weapons and at a certain point like that's what you will want to build because it doesn't seem like they are going to remove this 100% resistance meta. They added, like they have a lot of enemies, like in this composition, there are a lot of enemies that can reduce your resistances, but now you also have effect resistance as a stat that can help you avoid those debuffs. So I don't know. I think the resistance meta is going to last quite a bit. So it's definitely worth re-rolling also in general the tree essence facility once you are further down the line you don't need evasion as much you can then just uh, roll a bit. Hi Hana Yora, how are you? It went okay I would say I didn't pull a lot of units unfortunately but I got her to three red anyway. Now before I move forward maybe I can also check how many pulls I did because I don't remember. I think it was around 300, 350. Before starting, I, I had like 640 summons. So yeah, it's like 370 pulls. It's what I did and what took her to, to three red. Yeah, not the best of luck, but still okay. Well, to get 100% resistances, you need to reroll the Tressence facility. Basically, that's what you need to do. Like in this case, this is mine for strength. I have 10% magic resistance here. I focused more on magic resistance because uh, strength users, warriors and tanks have 30% physical resistance and 10% magic resistance with the gear. So I needed to find a bit more magic resistance there. Now this, the other page is a 12% magic resistance and a 10% physical resistance. So with this, I just got like 40% physical resistance and 30% magic resistance right at the start. And then with this is a lot easier to get just the right substats. Uh, you don't even need that much investment. Let me see my, where are, you? where are you here? So with this set, she has, okay, this one is the wrong one. With this set, she can get to 105 magic, 100% physical, and the pieces are not too crazy. Like this one is pretty bad. I don't need evasion at all. 
is only 9% magic resistance. Okay, this one was quite lucky, two times 4.5, okay. And then this with two upgrades, 8.5, pretty average, but whatever. This one, 12.5 physical, 7.5 magic, 8.5 magic, then nothing here, and 8% magic resistance here. So with, with just these, like this one could have had the physical resistance. This one could have had some more resistances instead of these peers, but I like the peers anyway, so it's fine. This piece is okay, could have been better. Like getting 10% in both per piece is not too difficult. So it's not that hard to get together, like to put together this kind of set. And yeah, that's pretty much what you need to... I think I could add in my spreadsheet also a breakdown of where to get the stats from and also how much you would want to get from the tree essence, how much you would want to get from ignition weapons and stuff, just to give a, a better overview of the thing. Am I going to push the L train arena? I don't know. I think now that I'm pushing adventure, I got I lost a few positions probably because if they challenge me, yeah, exactly. I lost like 300 points, damn it. <laughs> I was like almost there and I, whatever it's fine i expected it to happen yeah exactly i hate it i mean why 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 don't they just when you hit save just please remember the ignition weapons because otherwise i cannot push adventure otherwise people will just fight me and it will go down for no reason ah really hateful I really hate this system. The, the PvP in general is really stupid with ignition weapons. Just save the ignition weapons when I click save. Save them. Do not change them whenever a person moves them in adventure. It's really that easy to fix. Really, really stupid, but okay. Yes, uh, defense and HP does not do not matter pretty much at all. I mean, you can have as many HP as you want, but as long like as long as you go below 100% resistances, your units are going to explode in one hit. That's only when you're pushing like five times deficits, six times deficits, or even seven times deficits. In that case, HP and defense do not matter at all. At three, four times deficit, they might help, I would say. And you can get away with 90% resistances should be fine. But again, this really changes the more you move higher and higher in the in the floors, the less relevant HP and defense are, and the more important uh, resistances become, pretty much. So, yeah. Ooh, do I have a copy of him? Ooh, awesome. All right. Pretty cool. Where did all these copies come? Oh yeah, right. I also got an additional copy of this guy. Damage, whatever, damage, whatever. All useless. Who else? Cool. Also data machine, right? That I got her after the refresh, whatever. Nare, cool. For her, I don't really care about anything, to be honest. I don't care about accuracy, defense HP, whatever, just attack for additional scaling, maybe, whatever. Anak, I don't care, I don't use her. Let's just take the passive, and that's it. Okay, cool. Uh, does it matter which EV uh, ignition weapon set she has? I would say like it doesn't really matter. The most important thing is again resistances. I'm running Bergamot, but Bergamot is really useless on her because she has lifesteal by default. And once you have 100% resistances, lifesteal is really irrelevant. Like you can have 2%, that's already enough. So Bergamot is really doing nothing for her. Idea would be a good set in general, just for the effect resistance. That's what helping you avoid those annoying uh, resistance reductions that the enemies have. 
or you could go with hybrid sets like attack speed and swiftness so that you can get the most out of the silence from her passive and stuff like that you, you could go with a full runda perfectly fine if you are not running a runda user in the front line that could be viable you could run her with doris as well definitely viable so that you can boost your backline damage a bit you can really run her with whatever you want i don't think miongo is a really great set because she doesn't really cast the provoke skill that often so it's just average i would say i mean you can run it if you have like 90 percent resistance just to get the remaining ones to get to 100 percent could help but i don't know i don't think i would run miongo either probably yeah the other sets i mentioned are the the ones i would run Either hybrid sets or idea, Doris, Runda. That's pretty much it, I would say. But yeah, I don't have any other set that can give a warrior 100% resistance. Maybe the Runda one? No, not even close. Just close to 100% resistance, but nowhere close in magic resistance. Because this Runda set is usually equipped on like support units that they have 30% um, magic resistance and 10% physic resistance. So that would be quite the opposite. They usually get to 90% physical resistance and then to 100% magic resistance when I use it on supports. So yeah. quite annoying ignition weapons are really really annoying in this game they require too much uh, too much investment and yeah let's see if there is anything else to to say here or if i should also just focus on other game modes i want to go back to keeping the units uh, here in the l train arena so that they don't keep losing points for no reason yeah now they're way too weak whatever let's just get to the next multi-stage so i will just clear 42 and 43 and then i would say that's pretty much all for the live as well if you have any kind of question please feel free to ask them and we'll see uh i will try to, res to reply as best as i can all right, I can kill Verdi here. She is the highest attack unit. This fight is not really that. I don't even know how this fight could develop. What the hell is this team comp? What the hell is that team comp? So let's go this. Let's go with this one. Yes, he has already the defense set, perfect. All right, should be fine. Does he have Rihanna? Okay, great, perfect. Let's have a look. Viol should just wipe the enemy team, it's just way too strong, hopefully. Let's see. All right, nobody died. Okay, no, no, cool. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. How did Karaka die, though? It should be quite tanky. I mean, it's a problem against Joaquin. This guy can reduce physical resistance, so it's the only way Karaka can die, but still. Birdie was already dead. They should have no... Resistance reductions. This guy doesn't have it, right? No, he has it. But only on the highest attack enemy. So, for sure not Karaka. Well, whatever. Let's just try again. RNG is always helpful. Oh. 
Okay, Verdi didn't die, so that's already a bad thing. Hmm, cool. How many different ignition weapon sets should we... PR? You mean, what, upgrade or something? The thing is, you should first focus on having sets that you can share on multiple units. Okay, yeah, I need. I mean, the ones you need the most at the beginning are usually bergamots because they are quite easy to farm and also helpful in the early game that life still can help a ton, but it, they will become pretty much useless later on. And you need a bergamot with slot 4 and slot 5 resistances upgraded so that your units can just take no damage and you can push high deficits. Then you need an L set with magic pierce because that's used by Viol, Hiwa, potentially Mashini, which could be a really good unit now, Eden, and Elizabeth if you ever, or... Well, there, there are a lot of units that can use the L set with magic peers. L set with physical peers is a bit less relevant because it's only used by the hard and compress rack mainly. Also a Craptor if you want to build him. But those are the three only units that use it. And after those sets, I would say a, another Bergamot with uh, magic peers or substat and still resistance is main stat. You can get away with only one at the beginning uh, because you can just ignore the fact that you don't want to really optimize damage. It's better to optimize resistances and then you can use it on both physical damage dealers and magic damage dealers. So, yeah. One Bergamot with the resistances, one L set with magic peers. Those are the first two sets I would recommend. Then you can get... I don't know if I would invest in a Runda set early on. At the beginning, I would just give the supports just random Runda pieces for the four set effect, and that's it. I wouldn't focus on upgrading one too early on, but maybe once you get to like floor 35, four, maybe 40, 45, I would also start working on a good Runda set and then okay Doris set just in case, because Doris is a bit more situational than Runda. But it's difficult to give you a clear answer. I would say look at the units you are using and you're building, see which sets could fit multiple units and build those first so that you can get more value out of it and then slowly focus on the other ones because ignition weapons materials are really scarce in this game. And yeah. I don't know if I answered your question or if you have anything more to, to ask. Now, I was thinking here, I cannot run this composition anymore. We don't have a really higher attack unit, unless it is BAM, but BAM has too high resistances for 69, way too low for 28. 491, 491. All right, it's Gustang. Gustang is the highest attack unit. I don't think my Michael can kill it. 48 was no, no, no. Michael cannot kill him. I can try. If he can, great, but I doubt it. I don't think he can kill him. That's it. Yep, he didn't. Not even half life. Maybe he didn't crit. Let's give it a a second try but even with a crit I still doubt I can kill him unless I want to give him the highest slot but that would be such a waste I could just run a, a, a yellow team probably and yeah probably even with a crit just that amount of damage it's all I can do I mean I will still give a chance to Viol he can probably still Pull something off. No, he cannot. The healing from Gusting is just too insane. Yep, nothing. Okay. Then this plan 
is not going to work. Let's go for yellow. Let's go for yellow with Hiwa. Well, no, let's go with compressed rack. Because why not? And Shibisu. No, I cannot use Shibisu. Again, the same mistake as before. Damn it. <laughs> Damn. Data Machine. All right, this guy already has the set. Perfect. She has it. This guy? No, I gave it to Zahard. Damn it. Here. Okay. She's also fine. Perfect. This should work, hopefully. It's really difficult to showcase Warion, like the new Warion. I don't know. Because not being a carry, you cannot really show exactly how much value she provides or how good she is. I mean, it's clear she's good. It's just difficult to prove, probably. Like the, the crowd control provided is great. The additional physical appears, I don't know, not necessarily. Ah, man. Gustang is so annoying. So annoying. Really too annoying. So. I think he was probably the best bet here. And who did I put at the front line? Data Machine. I think I can still use this guy and try to make him work with a different set. Maybe the one I use for Karaka. Where is it? This one. It's not going to have a lot of resistances. Okay, enough magic resistance, but no physical resistance. The enemies, physical, magic, magic, physical, magic. Should be fine. There is also Evan, so it should be okay. I will probably close the stream soon, guys, as soon as I finish this stage. So again, if you have any questions that you want to ask, feel free to do so now. Otherwise, I will close the, the stream soon. Soon. I mean, I hope I can clear this one in the next few tries, but who knows. Ah, that annoying Gustang. He's probably way worse than other enemies. I mean, if, if you do not kill him immediately, that guy is a pain. So, so, how can I kill that guy? Michael is not going to make it unless I give him the highest slot, which I might even do. I might even do that. I can pick him with Blarod, but my Blarod is not going to kill him. Because the deficit is really too high. If I give Blarod this slot, he cannot kill that guy that is 150 levels higher. With this? Probably. But... I don't know, I don't really like that idea. I could even give it to her, to be honest. I can give her Rihanna. Should be fine. And then the frontline unit here could be whoever. Because in theory, if she can survive, the whole enemy team is going to get wiped out. But I'm not sure. We can go on with... No, it's going to boost yellow damage, but we don't care about that. Nope, 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 nope. There's just way too many different colors in the same team. Who cares? Let's try it.
Why is she there? She should be fighting Gustang though. Gustang is the ice attack enemy. What is she doing? What is she doing? Did I miss anything? Why will she be so the target? Shibisu is boosting yellow, but so is Kunagero. This guy has 491, and this guy has 503. Why was Yuri focusing Shibisu? I'm missing something. Hmm. Whatever. That was close. I don't even know why I'm using Wario though, to be honest. I mean, okay, it's the new unit, fine, but... Okay, let's keep using her just in case, but... I don't know. Here, here, here. I can try it like this, but still weird. She's still there. She's still there and she also died, but that's fine. Alright, then I will have to use someone else. Damn it. If only Michael could kill... I mean, Michael could... If I decide to do this, he can kill him for sure. This setup is also fine, fine. Uh huh, you got the new wire into one rainbow and almost 30 exclusive equipment. Yeah, I mean, uh, this set is a bit tricky. I mean, the most important thing is that you can give her 100% resistance in both then she doesn't really have a best set. Miongo is not too bad, but she's not really getting a lot of benefits out of it because her, her provoke is uh, not that frequent. So I wouldn't run it with her. Uh, like I wouldn't run her with that set. Bergamot is not useful. I'm running her with it just because it's the only set I can get 100% resistance in both uh, magic and physical. That's the only reason why I'm, I'm running it. Idea would be a good option. Uh, still, I wouldn't go as far as farming one set only for her. There are many user like there are many units that can benefit from it later on, but not as a starter set. Uh, Runda, Doris can both be used and they're perfectly uh, good options. The best ones probably are going to be hybrid sets. You can go with an hybrid of two, pass, two, uh, two pieces L set and two pieces Doris, um, stuff like that. You can mix and match the stats because the four set effects are not really too important on her. What you really care about is just making her survive with the resistances, and whichever set you can do it with is, is the right one. Now, if I go like this, I can probably just you, you could probably kill Gustang even with with the lower link at this point with Xiaxia I think yeah sure no problem now let's see if I can actually kill that guy but even if I kill him since Yuri was focusing Shibisu now I'm wondering if Shibisu is not the the highest attack unit which would be problematic, probably. We will see. We will find out really soon. This guy's already fine, already fine, already fine. Now, let's have a try. Oh, 
all right and no energy so no that guy was not the highest attack unit still it's fine perfectly fine without gustang that team doesn't even exist but yeah so weird okay here she did a bit of damage actually six billion in this amount of time is not bad weird how did she who did she fight interesting but that's about it now i'm not going to go over this fight because it would really take too much time i'm kind of scared of this hybrid purple yellow yeah kind of scary whatever so guys i would say that was pretty much all i will still do some stuff not in stream but uh, i have to clean up a bit uh, do the event do the uh, train arena trying to regain the positions i lost while i was pushing did i gain some points no i can't i only lost them damn it yeah whatever uh, really stupid thing they should just really I, I will probably also create a post this evening uh, just to tell them please when you save the setups also save the ignition weapons do not make them change whenever you move them uh, in, in adventure that's really really too annoying and the same should be also for ranker arena and whatever there is a defense formation save it with the ignition weapons damn it all right guys that was pretty much all uh i hope you liked the live i will do one as well for ancient track the time will be different obviously because i will be in america as i already said in one of my previous videos and also in uh, in my discord server i will be in america starting from sunday so yeah the time of the live stream will be a bit different I will, it will be closer to the end of the maintenance which is good at least i don't have to wait a whole day basically just to do the pools so yeah thank you so much for passing by and we'll see you guys in the next one bye